So yes, there's many types of engineering degrees, BH, BSc, BTech, but what are the admission requirements for each? I'll take you through that now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, press that red button below so you can continue to get content of some of the information that I share. I am passionate around engineering, career development and leadership and also around how each of us can play such a fundamental role in resolving some of the issues that we've got in our own society, that we've got, especially in Africa, and that if we build an army of engineers, of leaders, in fact, in any faculty or function, just as long as we expose ourselves to the depth of information that's out there, so we don't have to rely on someone else to solve our own problems, but that we can be the change makers. And if each and every one of us made one small action, we could actually change this place for the better. So there was some positive feedback in the previous video where I shared the different types of engineering and there were some questions that were raised on whether the requirements for entry are the same. So I'll take you through what the minimum requirements are, looking at the APS score and also whether you need to get an A, B, C, D, E or F. Probably not. You guys know it's not easy to get into your engineering um, for you to be admitted, whether it's for a BTEC, a BEng, and a BSc. It's not to say all of us want to go the degree route. I know some guys are more hands on the diploma route, there's the trade route and whatnot. All hand and technical skills are essential. Each person has a different role that they play in the workplace. Universities or technicons like UJ offer a BTEC. A BTEC in engineering is a three year qualification. So your APS score for a BTEC. Typical example must be between 28 and 30, and you must have a minimum of a C average for English, Maths, and Science, so a C for each. If you're looking to do the extended program, which they do offer, where you can get your BTEC in four years, then your minimum APS can range between 22 and 26, um, and for that, you must have a minimum of a D in English, a C in Maths, and a C in Physics. For a BEng, some institutions do offer BEng, so Bachelor in Engineering. Um, University of Pretoria is an example, University of Johannesburg, Kingsway Campus is an example, and this is a four-year degree, which you do get with honors. So the minimum requirements for that is an APS score ranging anywhere between 30 and 36. Bridging your English is a C, for Maths is a C, and for your phys Physics is a C as well, DJ. But if you look at the minimum requirements for University of Pretoria, they do expect that you get a C as a minimum for English and a B for your maths and a B for your physics. UP does offer an extended program where you can do your B engine five years and the minimum required there is a D as a minimum in English, a C in maths and a D in physics. If you're looking to get a BSc in engineering, you could then look to join Wits University or UCT. They offer BSc. Minimum typical APS ranges between 36 to 40. Minimum entry requirements for your three key subjects are a C in English, a C in Maths, and a C in Physics. If you go on further to look at UCT, they do expect that you get uh, about 80% for your Maths and 70% for Physics. Obviously, there's limited seats at any institution, and like any organization or like any faculty, any institution, there is a lot of competition. So the higher your marks, the better chance that you get, and obviously you probably might be um, considered first. So do ensure that you work really hard, especially on your English, Maths and Science. Your overall score obviously does have a bearing as well, so you must ensure that you do well in all your other subjects as well. If you are looking to have a strong APS, they do focus on your top seven subjects. For those of you that don't know what APS is, it's an admission point score. Basically, it is a range um, that allocates certain points depending on the percentage that you get for each subject. This does have an eight score when you get uh, 99 and 100%, but generally the score ranges between, the scores range between one and seven. Or you target your 70, 80, 90% in your maths and science, the better for you. Do you remember guys, as much as we do push to get degrees and qualifications, it's only a foot in the door. It's what you do with that piece of paper and the opportunities that it does open up that will make the biggest difference. Yes, we may each have different qualifications or different degrees, but it doesn't limit the level of success that a person will gain, um, especially when they go into industry and they start working. Because when you get there, no one really sees the paper that's filed by HR. Everyone sees the dedication, the hard work, the innovation, the boldness, the hard hours that you put in, um, and obviously the results, and that is what actually matters the most. Comment below if you think that some of our institutions are a little too strict with some of their requirements. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow, and lead for change. Shop.